This is the Business Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. Our guest today, she's a, she is a business change specialist and a champion sprint cyclist. The quickest way to innovate is to take lessons from one world and apply them in another. another. I can relate to that. I love that. She was the fastest woman in Scottish sprint cycling. As a Commonwealth Game medalist, she understands what it takes to plan, train, compete, and thrive on and off the track. She's helped um, several businesses for teams as small as five up to business units of 1,500 plus. And she takes what she learns and learned in excelling in sports to help entrepreneurs and business leaders lead their teams through crisis and change. Uh, that sounds like something much needed in this world right now. Uh, Jenny, thanks for being our guest today. Thanks for having me, Derek. Looking forward to uh, chatting and hopefully your listeners will get um, some value from um, the exploration today. Let's talk about people who are working from home right now. <laughs> you know, we have people ourselves, some in the office, some out, out for the foreseeable, unforeseeable future. H- how do people work from home? Those that are used to it are maybe okay, but this, a lot of people find themselves suddenly in a spot where they're distracted and it's not the maybe the ideal working conditions. What are, do you have some advice for them? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm a big believer um, in understanding and knowing what your optimum working conditions are. And there's some kind of really obvious ways to find that out. So uh, what time of day is good for you? Um, And you'll know that just, you know, if you keep an eye on it over a couple of couple of weeks and months, you know, if you've had plenty of life experience, you'll know whether you're better in the morning, mid-afternoon, late in the evening, you're like a night owl. So time of day, what conditions around you do you like? So you hear about some students that like music and the radio in the background, do you like silence? Um, I personally like music that doesn't have like words and singing. So like movie soundtrack music or something quiet that's classical um, for specific tasks. Other times I'm quite happy just having silence. Um, It might be the clothes that you wear, um, the room that you work in. And once you work out all the different environmental things that put you into an optimum state, um, it's about consistently creating those conditions. If you can, you may not be able to create it for the whole day, uh, especially if you've got family or kids or um, dogs or cats running around in the background. But no one's going to be productive, massively productive for seven or eight hours a day. It's just not physically possible from an energy point of view. So it's it's more about can you buy yourself those conditions for even if it's just an hour in the morning and you do your most important task for that hour, and the same in the afternoon and there's nothing wrong with signposting you know to your to the people that are in the household um this is my power hour shout out to Deirdre Ramsey who gave it the name a few years ago um this is my power hour 10 till 11 and 2 till 3 that's when you do your really really most important work and the rest of the time um you know and I mean like switch off your phone, switch off your email notifications and really concentrate for those two hours. So I think part of it's about optimum working conditions and part of it's about being really clear about what your priorities are 